Moving on now to dependency theory. This is an explanation provided from those of the new right or classic liberal or neoliberal tr tradition as to why poverty persists and exists um, in society today. Um, they very much blame, they, they blame two elements. The one is that it is the individual's responsibility. So the poor are poor for their own fault. Um, and that in fact, uh, the government uh, has not helped by giving benefits. And in fact, the welfare state itself is responsible for the persistence and existence of poverty. I, I know it sounds illogical, but bear with me. So think of the, these guys as blaming the poor for being poor. Um, they see it as their individual responsibility. This is part of a long tradition of scapegoating that is blaming the innocent or an innocent for wider social problems and has been in uh, practice at least since the 19th century. Um, it points to uh, or has the idea behind it of the state dependent individual, that individual who is entirely um, dependent on state aid and is disincentivized to work, uh, those that do not uh, think that uh, they should work. Um, and that, uh, you know, it, it, is, it, it is, they become completely dependent psychologically as well as financially. Um, this um, points to a culture of poverty. It's not just about finances, it's about values. And um, Lewis Oscar, um, in his study in Mexico, in the barrios in Mexico, found that although there were genuine um, barriers to um, those in the poorest sections of the community getting on that they themselves built barriers and those barriers were uh, of a cultural nature that prevented them getting on the values that informed their norms if you like were faulty they had gone wrong they kept them trapped in place and we're talking about things like the acceptance of fate this fatalism and that poverty has always existed, it will exist, and my dad was poor, and so wherefore. So but there is no sense of the need to get out of the poverty trap because of it just is the way it always is. Um, that there is no long-term planning. So um, the idea of investment of the now to help the future doesn't exist, and this is a cultural deficiency. What we're talking about here is investment either in night classes or in education or in property or whatever it is is not there because they culturally do not have that uh, ability to do that um it's geared towards um the this cultural deficient this trap of culture that lives for the moment and does not plan for the future it is in for immediate gratification and not delayed pleasure. Um, the problem with this, of course, is that there is no evidence that um, uh, this does take place and that indeed um, that there is a, this, this culture exists and that it's different for poorer people uh, than for rich people or, and it can be seen as a rational response to poverty as opposed to a cultural trap. Um, the underclass is an issue um, that has been put forward to, by a writer called Charles Murray. Now, he sees that the cause of the persistence and existence of poverty is the existence of a group of people um, who are uh, a determined group of people, of non-working people. Uh, an underclass that 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 that, sir, that uh, go counter to um, the, the values of the rest of the society. These are lazy people. They are entirely able but unwilling to help themselves, um, and they are what Murray calls self-recruiting. That is, they are generationals. They are a distinct group of people that uh, you have to, if you like, uh, be a member of their club. They look to keep people in. And uh, in, in this way, um, these are the same guys. These are the same identity. And um, as such, they're the, it put, uh, Murray points out that this, this group are 
the ones responsible for um, the same group of responsible for the majority of crimes in the community. Um, the same group have a high level of um, babies born outside wedlock pointing to a cultural deficiency of this group of people and that they are also made up of the long term that's more than six months unemployed. 